In my role over the past years, I've had the opportunity to be able to spend a number of, um, a, a lot of time with numerous different clients across every industry, across every geography, and we've had a lot of learnings in terms of what does it mean for AI to thrive inside of their organizations. And today we want to be able to walk through what it really takes. But as you can see from the title here, failure is necessary. And you may not think about it that way, but I'm going to walk you through why failure and experimentation is absolutely critical to be successful with your AI projects. Yeah, I want to start out by taking a look at what most people think of in terms of AI. We often get a view that AI is this mythical, magical creature, this black box that is going to give you instantaneous answers and value creation and drive wealth for your organizations. How many of your organizations think that? How many of your businesses believe by implementing AI, everything is going to be perfect? Many of you, right? But the reality is, is that AI is not magic. AI is computer science, it is math and statistics, it is your domain knowledge, and through the processes that you guys have implemented in your own organizations, and through mass experimentation, a number of your AI projects will fail. But those that will succeed will have a significant impact on business and the new business models that get created in your organization. AI will create almost $16 trillion in the global economy over the next decade, by 2030. I want you to think about that, because that's probably one of the most meaningful things that will happen in the next decade that everybody in this room will be a part of, with its ability to be able to impact personalization and productivity. Artificial intelligence will impact every business, every organization, large and small, regardless of what industry you're in. And you know, many organizations are trying to figure out what does it actually mean for us to implement AI in a meaningful and an impactful way. AI in the enterprise is truly about three things. When we've done a lot of our studies, we find it's really about having better, um, better information to be able to have better outcomes and better insights to have predictions, better predictions, better automation, and better optimization. Let's go into this in a little bit more detail. When it comes down to it, those three things are really about unlocking the power of data that exists data that exists within the firewalls of your own organization, data exists, that exists with public data and syndicated data. Whether it's about doing better predictions like Experian, where you're actually figuring out how to predict where fraud occurs or predict false positives, or use predictions to be able to assume where risk exists in an organization. Whether it's actually taking deep knowledge workers, like in the legal profession, where legal mation has actually made the task of creating contracts and taking that from today, what is a multiple day to multiple hour process, down to minutes, allowing the actual lawyers within an organization to focus on the job that they do best. Or whether it's like Woodside, where they're actually taking all the knowledge that exists within the technical engineers in their organization, and they're automating the knowledge at the fingertips of even some of the most junior engineers so they can be just as good as engineers that have been out in the field for a number of decades. These are examples of how AI unlocks value of data in totally new ways. And the last example is really taking data that exists out there and providing a new way to be able to provide cardiac care for remote regions of impoverished areas such as India, Africa, and other areas. When you take a look at all three of those examples of better predictions, better optimizations, um, and better automation, it really isn't just about the technology. Artificial intelligence is absolutely important in terms of the technology and the models and what it means to actually create better types of outcomes from the actual underlying foundational of the technology. But the difference between successful projects and failed projects really comes down to the approach on these other additional three things, on what it means to have better processes, 
to build a culture that embraces these kinds of changes, and to be able to have real value in and around the data. Let me go into that in just a little bit more detail, and this will also be part of the more detailed discussion that we have um, in one of the sessions that we have a little bit later today. But when you think about process, AI itself is not a thing. Many of us think if I go implement AI, everything is gonna be great. AI actually is an ingredient into something that is a better process, a better application, a better workflow. And so when you put AI components into production, mission-critical types of workloads, what becomes essential is that you really understand how you take that living, ever-changing, ever-improving AI component and how you have visibility into how AI came to a decision in terms of explainability of that model, trust of that model, transparency of that model, and the continuous operational change or AI ops that is necessary to keep that going. That's the first component when we really think about process. When you think about culture, it really is about driving a culture of continuous learning in your organizations. One of the things that we often talk about is the average skills for technology today is anywhere between two and three years, 24 to 36 months. In AI, that skills gap is actually a lot smaller. It's 18 to 24 months. And when you think about like, what it means to have a culture that is ready for AI, it isn't just about creating a group of data scientists. AI is going to impact every job that is out there. And when you really talk about changing the processes as we talked about, that means that you have to have um, a culture that really enables every person to understand how AI is gonna impact their job and what it means to have not only a tops down, but a bottom up culture that embraces this kind of change. Because when you're talking about processes that you change all across your organization, across every application, every kind of workflow, it means that you have to have an agile culture that embraces learning. Now finally, data. This is probably one of the most important ones because to be able to have good artificial intelligence, you need good data. So what does that mean when most organizations don't even understand where their data is, much less the data that is actually necessary to drive the kinds of AI that is important to them? So when you think about those three things about process, culture, and data, and the value that you get from that data, if you take the last one, their journey to AI really looks like you can apply AI in any one of these different areas. Most organizations are in the middle over here. And if you take a look at it, the left-hand side are mostly workloads that you see that are driven by IT organizations, usually siloed in nature. The right-hand side, in terms of having self-service analytics or having new business models, it's about taking data and artificial intelligence and bringing it to more consumers whether that be different parts of your business, your end clients, and therefore the way you think about data and the way you think about the processes and the applications you have are different than what you do on the left-hand side. And this jump from the left to the right is a struggle for most organizations, not because of the technology, because of the three things that we mentioned. You have to disrupt the processes that you have in your organization, you have to disrupt that culture, and you have to treat data differently. So when we think about it, you can say, there is no AI without IA. You know, 80% of data is either untrusted or inaccessible or unanalyzed. And when it comes down to it, organizations don't even know where to be able to start with that. I'll leave you with three questions to think about. The first is, when you think about how you're applying AI in your business, how does that align to the top priorities in your org? How, do, how are you building not just an AI culture, but a data-first culture? And what are you doing to upskill every part of your organization, not just the data scientists in your org? This is absolutely critical. Now, if you want to understand where to get started and how to really take a lot of the learnings we have and apply them to your business, come by our booth, um, it's, it's 307, and we'd be happy to get you started on a lot of the techniques, the learnings, and methodologies that we've had and helped other clients implement. Thank you.